Hey guys, good to have you all back. Normally I'd say it's Monday, let's get back into crafting. But for me it's actually another day. I'm filming ahead because I'll be preoccupied this Monday. Well, actually, today. Um, but happy Monday to you guys. Okay, we're still doing a file folder February. I have an actual sort of file folder on my desk. I believe so. Is this called a manila folder? I don't know for sure. Um... I have never worked in an office and also file folders and manila folders, not a Dutch thing at all. So I might be absolutely mistaken, but I'm doing something with a this. Yeah. Okay, guys, I have a prototype, a very basic prototype. I have some supplies uh, and I have a lovely project in mind. I think we can finish it in one day. Yeah. Okay. Let me show you the prototypes, the supplies, and then make something pretty. This is my very basic prototype. It just looks like I folded it in half. I didn't, guys. Let me show you. I'm going to open her up. Okay, it has a spine. It has a spine here, half-inch spine. I have a very big sort of pocket here that you can put all sorts in. And then a huge top-loading pocket there. Then this is going to be... You can make this into a notepad or a journal or what have you. I'm going to make it in a small journal. You open it up. also has a small spine. Tiny pocket here and then a side loading pocket there. So very basic. It will look lovely when we decorate all of this. Yeah. So here's what I'm using. Well, obviously the manila file folder thingy. And on my desk, I have a couple of very big books. Big books that have big images in them that are beautiful. But how are you going to use them? Let me show you. That is, that is such a beautiful book. I've just put a bookmark in it. Like these. It's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. There are even uh, some in here that are, that are bigger than this. Um, but how will you use them? Because they don't fit on a pocket. No. So some of these botanicals. And then I have this children's nature book. Of the forest and i don't know um beautiful images as well look at this one it is just absolutely gorgeous but it doesn't fit on what do you do with it well we know what to do with this we can fussy cut this but this is way too big then i also have some more modern books this is a reader digest reader's digest good ideas for your garden now most of the the pictures in here are uh photographs and i don't enjoy them well you could make um, sort of backgrounds with them or envelopes or what have you. But some of them in this book look like this. It is just beautiful. But it's not something that you can sort of fussy cut out. Because it's the whole sort of idea is fantastic. But just the tree will not make any sense. So what to do with these... And this is actually the book that I am using today. This is from Marjolein Basten. It's The Four Seasons. This is one of my favorite, well, probably my favorite illustrators of the Netherlands. Uh, she makes this. It's just, it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful book, but again, with the very large images. And well, you can enjoy, well, you can enjoy this. Just cut this out. Um, but I, what I want to do, look at that, is you, uh, use the big images in here. To decorate the folio thingy that we made. Right? Yeah. Even this, guys. You could either sort of fussy cut all around them. Lots of work. Or use it as like a big whole image. Yeah. So I'm going to find some beautiful stuff in here. Oh, look at all. Oh, look. It's just, just pretty. So see if you have some large books in your um, collection. That have big images on them. Um... That you don't know how to use. We're going to use those. For the other supplies. Let me show you. For the tools. They're going to be very basic. The tools that I almost use every day. Uh, scissors. Glue. Ruler. Knife. Pencil. Corner rounder. As per usual. Not necessary. I'm going to use a scoreboard. I need to make two or three scores. Now guys. If you don't have a scoreboard. You might have. Oh, you don't need the, the big one. You can use a smaller one if you want to. Um, you might have a paper trimmer. If you have a paper trimmer, you have automatically sort of a scoreboard. Because there's measurements on the top. There's a slot in the middle. And then you can use this as your scoreboard. I do recommend uh, investing in a scoreboard. And if your budget uh, permits you to, buy a bigger one. Because sometimes you have to do 12 by 12 scoring. So that works works way nicer with a big one i also wouldn't recommend the one that folds up because you're always left with something 
in the middle. That doesn't work. Um, for other tools, I'm going to make a small a sort of journal, small signature. So I'm, I'm taking out my binding kit. Um, very elaborate. You, do, you just need a big needle. A big needle and embroidery. I'm using embroidery floss. Again, I don't know what color I'm using. So, big needle. So I'm using a pokey tool, big needle, embroidery floss. Is that it? Oh, inking. Uh, normally, I take out vintage photo or, you know, another color for inking all around. But because I want this sort of folio thingy to be uh, very spring-like and bright and colorful, I think I'm going to use a color for the actual inking. But I don't know what color yet because no clue what images I am using. So we'll find that out later. I have no clue about the decorating. I don't think it needs a lot of decorating but you don't you know me i could you know change my mind halfway through the project and add hardware you never know <laughs> you never know okay so take out your tools take out your folder yeah we're gonna do some measuring some cutting and some scoring let's get going I had to zoom you out because these are huge. Okay, I have my manila folder. Mine has a little bit of writing on the back. I'm going to open it up. Now, on my file folder, it has these sort of score lines here. And this is the tiniest bit smaller. See this here? Yes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this towards me. Yes, towards me. So this is completely straight has doesn't have the score lines in them. I'm going to give you my measurements first, guys. My file folder is... 12, almost 12 and 3 quarters. Not really, it's a little bit in between, but let's say 12 and 3 quarters. And the height is 9.5. The height is of no importance at all. It could be 9, 8, 10, whatever. Uh, well, don't have it 4 because that wouldn't work. But if it's a little bit taller or shorter, no worries. We're not going to be bothered with the height at all. What we need to do is find the center of your file folder now that's a little bit difficult because it's not an even number and such so um i am going to measure it with my ruler with centimeters only guys that is because uh i am dutch we we sort of measure in centimeters and also my ruler with inches isn't big enough <laughs> it's just not big enough okay even my scoreboard isn't big enough let's just see it's 32 and a half almost, so it's 16 and a, and a 16 and a something. Okay, I just marked it. I just marked it. Ooh, you cannot even see. Mark it in the middle, and it doesn't really matter if this is 12, 10, 13, 27. Well, that would be big. Uh, just find the center. Okay, uh, my center apparently is six and three eighths of an inch. Now, because I do not, um, I'm going to zoom you back in again, guys, because I do not work with um, inches, uh, I'm going to put it at a full inch, just a, an, an even number. Well, a, a seven is not an even number, but just add a big number. Am I making any sense? I'm hoping so. Because I want to make a spine that is half an inch. And this little mark needs to be in the middle of a spine. So... In order to do so, I need to score at six and three quarters and seven and a quarter. Does that make any sense? So the complete spine will be half an inch. I'm going to score it all the way to the end of the big flap of the file folder. To this end, not, not both ends, right? Okay, okay. There we go. Seven and a quarter, six and three quarters, which will make four a spine of half an inch. If it is off by one sixteenth of an inch, guys, no worries. We made the spine. So now we can sort of see um, the, both of the halves of the, of the folder thingy. Now this basically flaps up and here we're going to make these flappies. Let me zoom you back out. I am sorry. I'm all over the place. This flap and this was actually a flap. Yeah. I'm going to take away my scoreboard for now. Okay. I'm going to start this flap. So I want to make this big pocket. 
you can have the big pocket an inch or two or three inches. I decided on uh, three inches. Don't have it very big. Otherwise, you wouldn't have enough room for this. So I just you know, took half of it. Just, you know, have half of this um, um, sort of bit. Yeah, this flap. Uh, it was six, so I, I decided on three. Also, just a nice round number. So, I'm going to do some measuring again. Now I can use my um, ruler for sure. Here we go. I'm going to put it up against the top. Put a mark of three inches here. And I'm also going to do it the same on the, on the bottom because... I have to make a straight cut, which is for me very difficult to do. <laughs> very difficult to do. Uh, unless you do it like so, because you can mark here. Yes. So, mark here and here. I'm going to have a straight cut. Do I have room? You don't. <laughs> From top to bottom, I'm lining the dots up. There we go. You could draw a line and take your scissors. I am much handier with a ruler and knife. Why do I have the feeling that this is completely off? Let's see. Am I at the right spot? No. This is the hardest part, guys. Okay. I do not want this to be crooked. I'm hoping this is not crooked. You made a flap. And it doesn't even matter if it's a little bit crooked. So, see? We have our first big pocket. If it's a little bit off, then it is a little bit off. No worries. Okay, first one. Now, we need to make this one. Looks very difficult. It's not. Let me show you. So we're making this flappy now. It is already glued down. Um, but it's this flap. See this flap here? Yes, we're going to make it into a sort of small journal. Now, um, I've taken down some measurements. What I did was have the sort of journal half an inch removed from the spine. So if we close it up, it falls a little bit in the in the spine have it removed a little a, a tiny bit uh lovies doesn't need to be half an inch you could have it uh, an inch or three quarter of an inch so between half an inch and a whole inch so we need to cut we need to cut from here up until somewhere this is the spine i want my journal to start about let's say three quarter inches removed from the spine I put two dots. Can you see? Yes. This is the line from this side. This is the line from that side. So we're going to measure from this point. I'm just going to put a dot somewhere between an inch and half an inch. Like we're going to put a dot at three quarter inch. It doesn't need to be precise, love. It's just, you know, a piece. A piece. So I'm taking out my ruler and knife again. And I'm going to cut... The inside, love, is the inside. So do not cut this. No, from the from this side. Where we made the flappy. Yes, from this side. There we go. Yes. See, it folds in and you can fold this in. Now, as you can tell, I've made this shorter. A lot shorter, actually. I took off a whole piece here because I wanted the journal to be shorter. So, do whatever you want. I took off two and a half inches. Two and a half inches I took off, but you have it, can have a two, one, or even three if you want to. So, first I need to take off of this part alone. Two and a half inches. Keep it because we're going to use it. Now for this time I'm going to use my mat as a guideline. I'm hoping you can tell. 
button i'm gonna move it up, up a little bit zoom zoom there you go this is my mat has also scores on it full inches half inches um, i'm lining it up on the top and here on the side yeah taking out my ruler and i'm going to cut off two and a half inches see one two half so i'm going to line up with this dot and there's another dot that you cannot see on the bottom as well oh you can just see i'm going to take off two and a half inches it'll be lovely if it was straight but it doesn't need to be two and a half inches precise love is if it is a little bit more then it is a little bit more here's one from a prototype that i made there you go okay so this will fold up yes and this will fold in yeah you can take out your scoreboard or do this by hand i'm going to do half of it by hand i'm just going to fold it in up until where we cut it yeah going to fold it over line it up have it straight voila voila now you have to make a decision if you want a quarter inch spine or not i do so i i'm going to score at a quarter inch here not on this side because we cannot fold it here here yeah which is a difficult thing to do. Um, let's see. Fold it, fold it, fold it, fold it. Yes. This side, not this side. Gonna line it up with the six so I can score at six and a quarter. But this is not necessary, lovies. If you're not gonna do a quarter inch spine, then don't. Then don't. Did I do it right? I'm hoping I did it right. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to fold on this line here. Oh, yeah. It's going to be so easy. It is. I'm just, you know, doing a bad job at explaining. There we go. Ta-da. There we go. So, this is going to be the journal. Now, this flap, you can have it as a flap, lovies. I'm, I'm going to glue it down uh, because I want this to be a big pocket. I'm going to use the strip that we have left, yeah, to make a pocket here. And this strip to make a pocket there. Let me show you. Pocket here, pocket there. Yeah? Okay, but that's for later. Uh, fold the spine. Let's just fold the spine because we didn't do it yet. Because everything was still attached. Yep, 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 yep. Works. See? Same. Oh, is it the same? Yes, exactly the same. Open it up. This is going to be pocket. This is going to be journal with a pocket and a pocket and a pocket. Now, before I glue everything down, we need to find beautiful papers to cover everything up. And the parts that we're not going to cover up, I'm going to ink up. We still have this piece left. What I want to do is make a pocket here, the full length of the journal. I'm just going to mark it. And we have this bit sticking out. I'm hoping you can see. I have this sort of bit sticking out. I'm going to cover it up with the pocket. You won't notice it anymore. But I just need to mark it. I'm going to cut it here. So this is going to be pocket. And then the last bit that we have left is going to go there. I'm not taking out my paper trimmer today. I'm doing everything by hand. There you go. Yes. This is going to be glued here. So this is going to be a big pocket. Pocket here. Pocket there. Yes. That is sort of the base. Now, before... I'll glue everything down. I want to A, distress everything. And B, cover everything with lovely pages from the big books. Yeah? Okay, I am going to take out some of the beautiful pages. Let's see what I can find. Well, I found loads. 
and love them all i'm gonna use some of the daffodils some probably some tulips i have this probably on the front cover love this and this with the butterflies and more butterflies and just you know pretty pretties um i think i'm going to use green as sort of a base color for the but ink for the inking so i've taken out peeled paint because i think this green goes really really well what am i inking well the edges of everything and by that i mean the pockets the whole journal all around all around here these two other items so everywhere um there is a sp well there are actually three spines this is well two spines this is the spine in the center and this is the spine on the outside yes and then we have a small little spine here now i could make small strips to glue on i am not going to um what i want to do actually on the spine here in the center and on the outside is with the green um use a stencil so i have not used this uh, before this is from a stamperia came with the roses something it's kst the 153 and it has beautiful sort of um ornamental things but i actually want to do this one with the roses i'm thinking or this one mm, no or even this i don't know i'm gonna use uh, one of them just to sort of stencil here on the inside and on the outside i am not going to do this is just way too small for stenciling so i am going to do the distress i'm going to show you how i'm going to do the the stenciling i need something underneath yep It's going to go a little bit over the spine, but that's quite all right. The paper that I'm going to add is going to be a little bit smaller. Well, apparently I'm, I'm using this one. Um, the papers that I'm going to use to cover everything are going to be a little bit smaller than the pages. So you'll see a little bit of the stenciling as well. Pill paint, but use any color you want. Taking out a small brush not tall enough i'm hoping you can match it up is this a continuous print i'm hoping it is yeah 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 yes i, I see i see the the design okay i think this color looks really really nice with all the papers and with the yellow of the manila file folder Just gonna do this for a second. Needs a little bit more on the edges. Yes, so now it's going to be the tricky part because now I need to match them up. Looks like this, looks fantastic. And now I need to sort of find something where the circle is. Is it this one? <laughs> I'm hoping. Oh, it's this one. Yes. Let's see if we can match it up. Yeah. I'm gonna put this at the end. And I'm gonna do the same on the outside. Cool, right? Oh yes, lovely color, lovely color. Okay, I'm gonna do the same on the outside. And then for the rest of it, I have a, you know, a dauber. And I'm just going to do the edges. Just all around the edges with the green. Everywhere. This will take me a while. <laughs> so I'll be quite busy. I'll be back when I've inked everything and uh, put the stencil on the other side. Everything is inked and stenciled. It's already lovely. Okay. I need to find big piece. I want to... Uh, 
put big pieces on guys not do collages just big pieces so before i glue this down i just want to have a piece uh, underneath here that um uh, falls a little bit into the pocket so you won't see where it ends uh with this one i am going to put a whole piece down yes i might take this off but there's an inch left here well three quarter inch and i really want to have some paper so i'm going to mat it's called matting i believe putting a large image here putting a large image here doesn't need to go all the way there an image here 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 we have another spine here do i need to ink it i might i might and then i have a pocket here so i need to put something here i need to put something here and of course front and back cover look at the spine it's lovely right yeah so i've taken out these papers yeah here's what i'm gonna do because this will save a little bit of time i'm going to figure out what goes where cut everything out and then show you that was a lot to cut and a lot to glue. It's actually 10 pieces, guys. I made them all a the tiniest bit smaller than sort of the surface that, that they're going to be glued on. So like this is the smallest one. See, I made it a little bit smaller. Also, this has rounded corners, so I also rounded this corner. Just leaving a tiny bit of room all over. Yes, yeah, so I need to cover every panel on here, including the ones that are going to be covered uh, for, for a part like this one yes this is going to be a pocket i'm going to add something really lovely here but also something underneath so i do not want to glue just here i'm going to glue this on first it's going to go a little bit underneath the pocket yeah i think that's going to be lovely um i have this piece for it, it has a butterfly on the top and such so i'm going to glue it here let me see where the line is <laughs> of the spine Yes, I'm a little bit worried that I don't see the actual line. So I'm going to take out my pencil and lightly mark it. I am going to erase it because I honestly, I cannot see. Okay, because I need to remove it the tiniest bit from uh, the spine because we need to fold it. Yeah. Okay, see, it's going to be half under the pocket but that's just fine just fine you can use any glue for this guys am i using glue stick probably am probably am i have a sort of a glue page i'm trying not to look at the back because all of it was lovely now fortunately um this wasn't the only copy of the book that i have it's a dutch book guys you probably cannot get it uh where you are unless you're in the netherlands of course um and it's um honestly it's way too expensive to buy uh, on ebay or something like it and then with all the shipping just don't if you can find it where you are yay yay uh that's upside down love okay so removing it a little bit from the spine a little bit from the top and a little bit from the bottom that's why i'm using glue stick so i can maneuver it about just a, a little bit a little bit more removed from the spine, love. Yeah. Do I have something, a glue spreader or or a something? Yes. See, perfect. I'm going to add the pocket thing I have here. Now, this one is actually a little bit too short. Why? Because there was text here. I had to cut it off. But that's okay. I'm going to add something on the bottom later. Also rounded this corner. And it just looks lovely. Just looks lovely. Well, in my opinion. There we go. Oops. Yes. Well, okay. <laughs> Please go back in the tube, glue. Yuck. There's way too much glue on here now. I'm trying to scrape some off. Okay. Well, this will have to do. Sticky.
There you go. See? There's a little bit. And also there's a number here. Normally I'd say, yay, number. But in this case, I don't think so. So I'm going to add a little label here. And probably a little label on the top. Just to, you know, sort of decorate it. Um, I'm going to glue this on. I have this one. This one is going to go here. I have two for the inside. I have this one here. Lovely, right? And then more daffodils here. And this is going to be uh, a pocket. The right side up, please. And this is going to be a pocket. So I'm going to glue all these on. Yeah. Uh, but first I'm going to glue the big part here, which is uh, more butterflies. Yeah. This one. So this one goes here. Just underneath. And then I have a, a front and a back cover. Again, guys, I rounded corners because there's a rounded corner here and inked all around it. Now, it's going to be boring to see me glue everything on. So let me quickly glue everything on. I'm going to show you uh, because we need more decorating and I want to make um, a small signature in here. Everything is on except for the pockets. Now, I need to attach this pocket, this pocket, this one over here. Yeah. And this one over here. Uh, let's start with the smallest one, with this one. It's going to be sort of a tuck spot, guys. So I'm going to glue here. Oh, good morning, Art. Well, hello. Do you have a runny nose, love? Like your mom. Yes, me too. A runny nose. Changing of the seasons. Yes, it's actually pretty nice weather at, weather at the moment here in the Netherlands. It's about um, 15 degrees, which is very mild for the time of year yes celsius that is guys celsius okay this one actually goes here yeah but there's a tiny bit here sort of sticking out that's quite right so before i do this i'm going to glue the whole pocket down yeah it needs to be glued here so i'm going to add that first this goes here just on the edge Yes. And then this one. Not upside down, please. I'm going to glue as, as far, as close to the edge as possible. Just checking which side. Adding a bit more glue to this edge because there's a height difference. Here, so I'm hoping that'll work. Probably will. Close, 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 close to the edge. Yes, there we go. To press it, press it really hard because there's a height difference here. Yeah, it's already so cute, right? Yes. Then we have this pocket left. Um, here and on the top. Actually, a pretty quick project. However, uh, cutting down all the pieces that we've glued down took me quite a while. <laughs> it took me quite a while because I had to make decisions. What can we put on where? Fantastic. And then this is the front. This is the back. Looks like a book, right? And you open it up. It's just all sorts of loveness. A little bit of decorating here. Here, I'll probably add a piece here. And then you have a pocket here. And a pocket here. And this is going to have uh, a signature of something. Yeah? Shall we do that first? And then the decorating last? Oh, I need to do another piece of decorating. Here. You can still see sort of the the logo from the, from the file folder. I'm going to uh, put a piece of label or something over it okay i'm going to find some papers to put in here now you can have this guys as a notebook just with papers that you can write on you can have it with a uh, junk make a sort of a mini junk journal i am going to try to use some of the book pages that i have left from the from the journal itself that were cut down a little bit um, and have some images and also some writing on that I could actually sort of, if I want to, decorate. So 
Let me take out a couple of pages, cut them to size to make a signature. So I've been making a signature and something else that I'll show you a little bit later. And uh, well, it's been a while, a couple of hours. In fact, the weather has turned. It's now raining. It's now raining. So I have a small signature, guys. Just some um, of the pages from the book that I thought were interesting. Some scraps that I had left. And um, I made a pocket here. And what else did I do? Small one here. Because I hinged some of them together. And a pocket here on the back. Yeah, so just some pages that I thought were interesting. Okay, now this is going to be tricky because uh, this is sort of glued down. I cannot lift it or do anything to it. Uh, and I need to have it in the center. So I'm actually going to make a template. I don't do that very often because I don't enjoy making templates. But this time I will. Uh, because I need a little bit of guidance. With a template, I mean, I have cut a piece of um, just copy paper. The exact height, yes, of this. I'm going to write on. It says top. Top. Okay. Going to have this in the middle of my signature. Fold it in, guys. Fold it in half. In the middle of the signature. Clamping this down. And this. Yes. Taking out either your big needle or pokey tool. If I can find it. Yes. I'm just making a hole in the, in the center. Having it at an angle. So not flat guys. At an angle. Making a hole in the center. Here's one. Yes. And um, like an inch from the top, removed from the top, and an inch from the bottom. Yes. Okay. Now I have this from the top. Going to line it up. With the journal. Going to punch small holes, not, not deep ones, because I do not want this to show up on the other side. See, otherwise you would have holes here. And then I'm sort of making these holes. So that it will be in the center and at the exact, exact same spot, hopefully. So, yeah. I have embroidery floss in a lovely green color. Big needle. Starting from the middle, in the middle, this now should line up because we made the template. Now hopefully it does. There we go. Leaving a little bit because we also need to tie it. Then there's a hole. Either go to the top or the bottom, guys. Oh, it worked. Went straight through. Yes, do not go back in the center yet. Go all the way to the top. Or, or the bottom. And, oh, that worked brilliantly. It went in so fast. Oh, okay. Okay. Pull it tight a little bit. There we go. And then you go back in the center. Now hopefully this will work. Just as easy as the other ones did. Oh my gosh, it did. Well, okay. Okay then. Yes. Let's see. One needs to go to this side and one to this side. Put it tight, not too tight because it's still paper lovies. You can rip it. And then you just tie a knot or a double knot, not knot. There we go. A little bit too long. Yes. Ta-da. We have a small journal on the inside. Quick, right? Yes, and lovely. I do love this. Yes, and it's a pocket. Yeah, you can put stuff on there. Yeah. Okay. It's almost finished. Um, here's what happened, guys. Let me tell you. For decorating, I wanted to put on some labels. I only have very sort of grungy or Victorian brown, beautiful labels, but I wanted something cheerful and something green and something yellow. I didn't have any, so I made some 
so i made some myself um these i made very quick guys they're not like you know masterpieces uh but i made one that says daffodil <laughs> and uh with daffodils in green just sort of modern looking uh to put here and there yeah so i am i'm, I'm just so into making digital at the moment i really like it so uh what are we putting on i think i want to put on this here because i want to cover up the the number I'm just gonna put it there you could write something on it i made it with sort of lines just in case i wanted to write something on there you go here now i do want to cover up something here because i made smudges smudges uh so i'm going to put on this that says daffodils even sort of in the center. So not me at all. I'm going to put it on anyway. Because there was smudges there. Smudges. Now, I also need to put one around, all around here. I also want to have this on. I think that is so cool. And then have this here. Yeah. Yes. I am going to ink this. Are you... Mm, a little bit. I see a little bit of white. I did not do a good job of cutting these out. Okay, so this is going to go all around here. And then this is going to go here. The sass daffodil. It's so cool. Could have made this into a pocket. But you know what? Already has a lot of pockets. Did I spell daffodil right? <laughs> I don't think so. It's, it's a completely different um, name in Dutch, guys. It's actually sort of the, the Latin name. This is called Narcissus. And we, called it, we call it a Narcissus. There. There. And there. Oh, cute. Do you want to put something on the back as well? The small one? Yeah, let's put on the small one. Here? Oh, yeah. Lovely spot. Lovely spot. There we go. Daffodil. That is pretty cool. I'm gonna cover this up then. So not that cool anyway. Uh, no. Don't. Just don't. Somewhere else? Do we want it somewhere else? I have more small ones. I could put on a small one here. Yes. Let's just put on a small one. The daffodil. Oh! That cuts way better if you take off the cap. I don't think I'm going to do um, much more decorating. Or maybe this one on the top. I do love it. I'm going to put it here. I just love it too much. I'm going to put it there. All sorts of cute. Do we want? Stop it already. Stop it already. Do you know what? I'm going to put them here. Like so. Yes. If I want to use them later. I can use them later. Another one. Put it here. Oh, that looks lovely. Daffodils with daffodils. Great. Guys, I think I'm finished. Yes. I'm, it's so cute. Yes, let us look at the end result. 
So we started out with a manila file folder thingy and just big book pages. And we made uh, this. Yeah, it's just lovely. Also love uh, the spine very much with the stenciling and, uh, and all the labels. Open her up. Big pocket here. I put the big labels in here, guys. So you can put stuff in here. You can put lots of stuff in here. Big, huge pocket. Yes. And then we made a small little journal. Put the small ones here. Uh, or a notepad or, or what have you. Just have something lovely um, on the inside. There's another pocket here. Uh, and I had this here. It's just, it's very simple. It's very cheerful. I This makes me happy. And the label here and the label here. Very easy to make. It's easy to make, guys. Well, I think so. The most of the work was picking out all the images. Yeah. So I can already hear you thinking, I know. Yes. Okay. Okay, guys, if you want it. It's nothing special. Um, but I just wanted something with daffodils. It is on my Kofi. It, it is a freebie. Now, um, I printed this like full size. And you can also have them 2-2 two -two page. That will make for the for the smaller one. So print it out 2-2 two -two page or 4-2 page or whatever you want. And if you if you want to, if you're interested. It's nothing fancy or special or anything. But it's for you if you want to play with it. Okay, guys. That's it for today. I will be back again this Wednesday with another project. Something to do. With a file folder. Let's find out. So I am hoping to see you then. Until then. Bye guys.